Typically, trees used for paper making are specifically grown and harvested like a crop. Logs are debarked and the sipping blades in the chipper will cut the wood into small pieces. Those wood chips are then pressure cooked with a mixture of water and chemicals in a digester. Meanwhile, recyclable paper is mixed with processed water and then stirred in a giant stainless steel vat to make a fibre suspension. Impurities such as ink are removed by mixing the suspension with soap and blowing air through it to create a foamy ink residue. The pulp is washed, refined, cleaned and sometimes bleached, then turned to slush in the beater. Colour dyes, coatings and other additives are mixed in and the pulp slush is pumped onto a moving wire screen. This is a paper formation stage. This stage generates the most wastewater in the entire process. As the pulp travels down the screen, 90% of the water is drained away and recycled. The resulting pulp web is squeezed between large rollers to remove most of the remaining water and ensure smoothness and uniform thickness. The paper is now 80 to 85% dry. The semi-dry web is then run through heated dry rollers to remove the remaining water. In the process, the web will lose roughly 93% of its water. Depending on the eventual use, the paper will undergo further pressing or coating. The finished paper is then wound into large rolls where a slitter cuts the paper into smaller, more manageable rolls and finally ready to use. <laughs>